We have risen from the ashes to school the masses. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Scholars of Wrestling Show, episode 370. I'm your man behind the microphone, Scholar Jeff. Joining us this week is the undisputed scholar himself, Scholar Tarek. Scholar Tarek, how's it going, sir? It's Royal Rumble weekend. My favorite wrestling pay-per-view, like, ever. My favorite wrestling match, ever. And yet... Because of how uh, WWE has been booking everything lately. This is the first time I've actually really given any thought about the Royal Rumble this year. Hmm. Tragic. And speaking Very. of tragic, next up we, joining us this week is the one only Mr. Scholar Brian. Scholar Brian, how are we doing tonight, sir? Tell you what, no matter how low I get on WWE and and. You all know, as a whole, how low I get on WWE. Once Royal Rumble weekend hits, doesn't really matter. I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. Let's get it happen. <laughs> That's it. Also joining us this week is the undisputed Scholars of Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion and Scholars of Wrestling Party Champion, the one only Scholar Charlie. Scholar Charlie, how's your evening going, sir? It's going good. Uh, I'm looking at the Royal Rumble card for the first time lately, and I'm not as hyped about the card on paper, but Royal Rumble is a time for surprises, and hopefully WWE brings us something to look forward to this weekend. First time lately. Absolutely. And last but certainly not least, you know him. You love him. He probably smells faintly of raspberry sorbet. You know him. He is our buddy, Jeremy Bird. Jay Bird, how's it going tonight, sir? Very evil, very elite. After uh, last night's Dynamite show with the Dan House and Dave, it was the highlight of my week. But um, I'm hyped for Rumble. It's one of the big pay-per-views. And let's let's hope WWE can finally pull their heads out of their asses and put something good together. So let's see what's going to happen. Because not last year, but the year before, we had a blast when McIntyre won, that, won the Rumble. So let's see if we can do it every other year and actually have a good rumble this time absolutely i will say i will say with jeff's like interesting choice of word intros right now specifically with you jeremy i would have i would have with your uh dragon ball z shirt on i would have like his hair looks like lavender but smells like strawberries jaybird the coach <laughs> i'm sorry i just couldn't originally button <laughs> Off that, Muffin I was when buddy. you said when you said originally, I was like, "Hey, it's me, Goku." But I was like, "Nah, that's that's too uh, played out." So, <laughs> see, he's slow, but he gets it. He's so dumb, but he's so awesome. He's so cool, so, but he's so dumb. Just, there it is. Just so dumb. No. Oh my god, he's so damn cool. <laughs> and on that note, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the main event proper. This is Royal Rumble 2022. Here we go, kicking it off, starting with champion deferred his advantage. So we're kicking it off with Jeremy first, starting with... Really? Yes, you've got first pick, and the first match to pick is the for the Raw Women's Championship, Becky Lynch, the champion defending against Dewdrop. Jeremy, who do you got? Well, since I'm not on an AEW pay-per-view, I decided I'm going to actually take things seriously for once, more than I usually. If I pick Dewdrop, I'm a complete idiot. I'm going with Becky Lynch, hands down. If, if she, Dewdrop, As much as I love Piper Nevin, she's not going to win. Sorry, but it's Becky Lynch all the way. All right, that looks locked in. Tarek, it's your pick next. Who do you got between Dewdrop and Becky Lynch? I have a feeling that Dewdrop will, will eventually win the raw women's championship especially now that she's i guess it's kind of like transitioning like make kind of mixing the piper niven character and dewdrop character as one entity that's how i that's the just the feeling i've been getting with these promos and just char- this character change ever since she broke up with eva marie uh but yeah it's it's wrestlemania season they're not gonna have becky lose the title now if it was any, if it was not WrestleMania season, I probably would have said some. I probably would have said something different. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm also gonna go with Becky. 
All right. Next up, we've got Brian. Who do you got between Becky Lynch and Dewdrop? Look, it's WrestleMania season. WWE likes to go with money matchups. And as much as Piper Nevin is is a fantastic wrestler, okay, as of right now, if she's not proven to make money, Becky Lynch is. So in that case, and the fact with what I've got going on later, nothing that happens in the Royal Rumble happens if Becky Lynch loses this match. So there's no doubt in my mind, 100%, possibly the easiest pick that I have in this in in this show. It's got to be Becky Lynch all the way. Yeah, Becky's known to take your money, Brian. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. 100%, 24-7. <laughs> you know. Looks at Becky Lynch, shut up and take my money. And my say, heart. Was she going to the club with that? Like, what the hell? But anyway, Brian in all seriousness, the club. Go the club. that was Every all time. you, buddy. We, we never said that. That came out of your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, why do you listen to me? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Becky Lynch here too. There's there's too much in store, in my opinion, in the months ahead to really lose it now. As much as Dewdrop may deserve it, now it's not the right time. At least that's what I think. Charlie, do we have an accord, sir? We most certainly do have an accord. I'm going with big time backs to retain. All right, and the accord is made. It's locked in. Go Bex. Anyway, that moves us on to our next match on the card. We've got Roman Reigns defending his Universal Championship against Seth freaking Rollins. And Tarek, it's your pick up first. Who do you got between Roman and Seth? I have basically my own frame of mind of how this, how these title matches are going to go and how they're going to connect with the Royal Rumble. Uh, with that in my mindset, I'm going to go Roman, 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 Roman to retain. All right, then. Uh, kicking it over to Brian, your pick first. So you got between Roman and Seth. Pretty much the same because the way that they've been building this up, Seth Rollins has been saying, and it's true. Roman Reigns has never beat him in a singles match. Okay, Seth Rollins has always been the one to come out on top when they fall one-on-one. So, just that and the fact with my Royal Rumble pick. um, and, And also, let's face it, okay, there's no way that Roman Reigns is losing the title before WrestleMania. That's not the that's that's just not gonna happen. So Roman Reigns to uh, retain here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to join you on this one. As much as I would be interested in seeing us at Rollins Universal Championship win, maybe it's just a jaded part of me that says it's not going to happen at Royal Rumble, but as it's the jaded part is talking, I'm going to go with Roman to win. Uh, Charlie, it's your pickup next. So you got between Roman and Seth. Seth Rollins has always beaten Roman Reigns until now. Roman Reigns is going to uh, successfully defend his Universal Championship. Even with the Usos barred from ringside, that's too much stacked against Roman Reigns. So I just feel he's going to retain. And Jay Bird, that brings us back to you. Do we have an accord, sir? As much as I don't like Roman Reigns, he's going to retain. We got an accord going. Give me that Superman punch. Let's do this. All I'm right. Now we're me. looking at two and two. I feel like the, the prediction wise, it's going to be a. Uh, I think this is just going to rely on the Rumble game. Yeah, it's, it's, I can tell it is. The way it's looking, it very well might, but we'll see how it goes. Next up, we've got a mixed tag team match. We've got Edge and Beth Phoenix versus The Miz and Maurice. Brian, it's your pick first. Who do you got for this one? This is just underneath Becky Lynch and Dewdrop for uh, 
obvious winners here. Um, yeah, the, there's no way that Edge and Beth Phoenix do not win this match. They're, they're, Maurice took out Beth Phoenix with a brick. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> There's there's no there there's no way Ed Edge and Beth Phoenix win this and good good on the Miz and Maurice for taking the beat down they're about to receive. <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. Yeah, I've I've got a feeling that that's that's going to be what ends up happening. There, this whole feud is going to come to a close at the Royal Rumble, and it's going to emerge with Edge and Beth Phoenix as the winners. Charlie, it's your pick up next. Who do you got? Yeah, it's an obvious call. Uh, Edge and Beth Phoenix are going to win. Whether it's a one-off that Beth and Edge are going to team together or what, I'm just glad that we're going to see it on t- on uh, whatever we call these Peacock viewing specials. I uh, see them on TV together. All right, Jaybird, it's your pick next. Who do you got? I hate these matches because I, I kind of think we're going to get an accord on this one, but I could always monkey wrench and maybe screw you guys over. But that would only be you over, sir. What's up? That would only be screwing yourself over, sir. Yeah, but fuck it. I'm going to go with Edge and Beth Phoenix. Let's, let's do it. And I was thinking Miz and Maurice, but it's too much at stake. Let's, I'm going to go with uh, the Radar, super, super, uh, Radar Superstar super. and the Glamazon. All right. And Tarek, do we have yet another accord? Well, you may be the one who's afraid to go go that distance, Jeremy, but I sure as hell am not. I'm going to go with Edge and Maurice to take the pin. Edge and Maurice, huh? No, to be pinned. Edge and Maurice it is. To be pinned. I totally mixed. I totally messed up my joke there. (laughs) Well, well done. Nice little swear, but you had me going. All right. The last time I pick anything, Edge and Maurice, it blew up in my face with John Cena and uh, Nikki Bella. I've learned my lesson from that shit years ago. Edge and Maurice. I I'm not learned. I learned from that terrible mistake. I'm going with Edge and Beth Phoenix. Edge and Maurice. Edge and Beth Phoenix. Ed, Edge and Beth Phoenix to win. Miz and Edge Maurice and Beth to win. win. Yes. Okay. I don't give a shit anymore. You <laughs> I'm tired. Clearly you not. Been, been yeah. Edge and Miz for the last <laughs> three times. I was like, wait a minute. I don't care anymore. It's all good. Uh, we're 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 babies. We're tired babies. We're <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> Yeah, so it's next up. It's going to be my pick first, and it's for the next match. We've got Brock Lesnar defending his WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley. I got to go with Bork Laser on this one. It's a lot of people have been a lot more people than I thought have been saying that. You know what? Maybe Bobby Lashley could take it. I'm modestly hopeful, but I, I just. I'm following my gut on this one. I just don't believe it. I think they're going to be stale and predictable, and they're going to leave it on Brock, and Brock's going to win. Hmm. Uh, Charlie, it's your pick next. Who you got between Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley? Brock, Brock retains. Okay, Brock retaining. Uh, Jaybird, who you got between Brock and Bobby Lashley? As as stupid and as pointless of this um, feud is, that Wayne was actually very entertaining. I watched the clip earlier this week, and that I got a couple of laughs. But I got to go with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, as much as I don't like this card, because I'm picking every person I hate on here, but I'm going to go with Lesnar. All right, and Tarek, who do you got between Brock and Bobby Lashley? Oh shit! I guess it's not really. No, I guess it's not uh, relying on the. Well, it obviously it still is because you just get a whole series of points, but. I'm actually going with Bobby Lashley Ooh, to win wow. the championship. Ooh. Okay. And it's just going to continue with uh, how I think the Royal Rumble is going to go. Okay. I think I see where you're going that, but we'll touch on that in just a moment. In the meantime, Brian, who do you got between Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar? Once again, as usual, okay, me and Scala Tarek are on the same wavelength here. 
because based on what I think is going to happen and what I know based on the news that I read and all that, um, I'm going with some shenanigans here to cause Brock Lesnar to lose said match and Bobby Lashley becomes WWE <laughs> champion. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's not beat around the bush anymore here. Obviously, this is, entire night has been leading up to this. It's the Royal Rumble matches, the starting with the women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, and first pick goes to Charlie. Charlie, who is your pick to win the women's Royal Rumble match? This is killing me because I have it down to two, and I might as well flip a coin on what I, on what I think is going to happen. Um, From personal experience, Charlie, don't flip a coin. Nice job, MJ. I'll never let you live that one down. I was going to say Tarek's the one to go to about flipping coins, but I... Uh, don't do uh, it, man. Don't do that, it. That was too funny. That was one of the best moments. Do I go with who I think is a solid pick, or do I go with who could be a surprise pick? That's what it comes down to at this point. And... Uh, what will you do? The big from decision. Everything, from everything oh, that's circulating you. lately, I'm going to go with my gut and go with the surprise pick. Ronda Rousey wins the Women's uh, Royal Rumble. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, Jeremy, it's your pick next. Who you got for the Women's Royal Rumble winner? Um, if Ronda Rousey wins this match, I'm going to hate WWE even more. But I'm going to go and possibly give Charlie a little push for his prediction earlier in the year. I'm going to go with Liv Morgan. Hmm. She deserves it. She lost the day one. Give her the WrestleMania push she deserves. She's worked hard enough. I think she deserves it. All right. Very interesting. Tarek, it's your pick next. Who do you got for the Women's Royal Rumble match winner? You said Liv Morgan, Jeremy? Yes, I did. All right. As much as I would love to see that happen, I don't think it is. I'm going with my gut, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This, this, was, this is still the one. Was that my computer? Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, still the, this is actually the, the hardest match for me to decide. I still haven't figured it out, honestly. Uh, it, unlike Charlie, it, I, I'm actually down to three names. And two of them were the final two of last year's Royal Rumble. But knowing how WWE likes to have those big names in their WrestleMania, <sighs> hmm. And then there's also the fact of she may. I feel like WWE's like end game for WrestleMania and for Ronda Rousey is to face Charlotte. That's, that's the one that WWE wants, even though it's boring as fuck. And not even, not even just, well, I don't think it was, I don't think it's, I think it's boring, boring as, as hell, well. but anyway. Oh, oh no, I don't think it's going to be boring as hell at all. I think it's a boring or, match, but I digress. Or, it's going to be anything but. Uh, I'm I'm thinking that the people want to see Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch more, but uh, one thing I definitely know is going to be for certain is that Ron, uh, Ronda Rousey is going to be the one to eliminate Charlotte in the mm -hmm. Royal Rumble. Well, that's, that's what I'm thinking. There, that's what they're going for. And screw it, I'm I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey too. I'm not All confident right. with I'm not confident with that one actually. But it's it's kind of like a cheap it's a cheap answer for me. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> hey, this can go any number of ways. So there's really not too much in the way of bad different picks ways. here. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that, not realistic ones anyway. But hey man, either gotta, way, I got to pull your optimistic card. 
and be like, oh, 30 people, they all have the even chance of winning, even though they really don't. They all have a 33 and one third chance of winning. Scholar oh, don't Brian. Do, don't do Scott Steyer math. I don't have the brain capacity tonight. No one ever does. Scholar Brian, who do you got for winning the Women's Royal Rumble? See, because I don't say that Ronda Rousey eliminates Charlotte Flair. I think Lita eliminates Charlotte Flair. I think they're setting up two separate women's matches for the titles at WrestleMania, and you get two big, big time. Uh, women's title matches at WrestleMania. I, I think you set up Charlotte versus Lita because Lita said she could do, Lita said she wants to go on one more run. I'm not saying that she wins the women's title or anything like that, but have her do a WrestleMania feud with Charlotte. Why the hell not? You already, Charlotte already had one with Trish Stratus. Why not have one with Lita as well? But yeah. The money match, the one that they always wanted, but for whatever reason, they turned it in, into a triple threat match. Okay, this, WrestleMania and WWE is all about the uh, is all about the money matches. I would love to have. I would love to be able to say that that uh, I'm rooting for the end of the storyline between Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. I would love to do that, but instead I've got Bianca Belair being the Iron Woman and and getting the most eliminations, but it comes down to Bianca Belair and Ronda Rousey. And in that instance, Ronda Rousey, if Ronda Rousey's in the Royal Rumble, she wins. That's it. It's done. So, it's so are you going with with Ronda Run- Rousey to win I'm the going Rumble? With, I'm, I'm going with Ronda Rousey because she's going to be in it. I'm just saying that uh, there, there's really two options here. Anything uh-huh. else, anything else isn't going to work based on based on based on ending storyline potential. OK, well, hold but, on. But I'm, I'm, L- but, let me tell but, you something. Brother. Let me tell you something, brother. There's one thing you didn't consider here, Brian. There's one thing you didn't consider. Lacey Evans. God damn it. Oh I God. knew you were going to say that. That's my boy, Jeff. Lacey Evans <laughs> is not winning the Royal Rumble. <laughs> good. Uh, you good. swerver. Good. She will make a good showing for herself. She, I predict she will return at the Rumble. But uh, I got to agree with that virtually everyone else, Ronda Rousey is set to win if the rumors are to be believed. I'm going with Ronda Lacey, too. Lacey Evans <laughs> is going to be the quickest elimination in women's Royal Rumble history. Oh, God. Imagine. She'll be the run. She'll That's be the run in and close line them out immediately. I wasn't ready. Shut I wasn't your, ready. Shut your horrible not, mouth. That shut your mouth. Let's get Santina Morella back in and have her be the shortest Rumble <laughs> loss. Stop. I hate you all. Year, years ago, that probably would have worked, but I don't think that would work now. All right. Bringing us full circle to the final pick of the evening at last, we've got the winner of the Men's Royal Rumble. Jeremy, it's your final pick of the evening. Who do you got to win the Men's Rumble? Okay. I need to ask one question before I make my pick. Is uh, it only strict main roster or is it NXT guys included? That's the main question. Whoever you think is going to win the Royal Rumble. I'm going to probably say it's main ro- just main roster guys. Well, there goes and my plan out the window. <laughs> Shit. That, um, but I, could, I could be wrong. I honestly don't know. That's just my that's just my. I people really can come out of nowhere. Braun Breaker's going to come up and win the Royal Rumble, Jeremy. <laughs> not Braun well, Breaker. That's not your but, pick. No, nah, but... <sighs> Because I did my prediction card, and my prediction card is an NXT guy to win. That's the problem. If he doesn't show up, then I just throw a pick I'm, out the I'm window. I'm sure that there's a, I, I, uh, it'll probably I be would, call ups, but I doubt it'll actually. You're gonna have you're gonna have NXT entrance. I I don't I don't think they have any shot to win. But if you want to if you want to roll the dice, I'm gonna roll the dice. And I really, if I get this right, I am going to be so happy. 
I'm going to go with Walter because you could have him take that title shot, have him go to NXT, challenge Braun Breaker, and then if the rumors I've heard are true, you put Lesnar versus um, Reigns for a unification match. That's my theory. I'm going with Walter, not Gunther. We don't say a name. It's Walter to win the Rumble. There you go. Mm. There's your there's your wild card. A bold prediction. I like it. Next up, we've got Tarek. It's your pick next. Who you got for the Men's Royal Rumble? I've pretty much been hinting at this for it's going to be Brock Lesnar just showing up and just trolling everyone like he normally does. He's going to come oh. in and win the and win the Royal Rumble to set up uh, his re- his match with Roman Reigns. Because thinking long and hard about this, <laughs> when you look when you look at the rest of the roster, there is absolutely no one that WWE has booked right to actually be put in a main event at WrestleMania. Except Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Those are the only two guys that could actually like that could actually go into this Rumble match and actually win it that was actually booked correctly throughout the entire year this past year everyone else has been booked like shit everyone else is just a sec is just an afterthought where roman reigns and brock lesnar are the only people that wwe actually seem to actually invest their time and money in so when i thought about that i'm just thinking okay whoever whichever champion loses their title is going to win the Royal Rumble. And I even talked to Brian about this months ago, even before he won. I, my pick was Brock Lesnar to win the Rumble. And the fact that he won the cha- WWE Championship didn't change anything. Because he was just put in there because Roman Reigns had to be on a, a, a quarantine for COVID. That's the only reason why he's the WWE Champion right now. And now that he's fine, give it to, give it to Bobbles. Have the Elimination Chamber match determine who's going to face Bobbles at WrestleMania or whatever the WrestleMania Chamber is. Is that what they're calling it now? Is that the official name now? Apparently. Okay, Okay, but yeah. The Chamber is what they're calling it now? The WrestleMania Chamber, yeah. Oh, boy. It's it's because the the event's going to be in Saudi Arabia. Oh. I don't, and for some reason, Elimination Chamber just probably not, eliminate elimination's probably not a good you word to no, use in no. saudi yeah. arabia <laughs> so yeah it's it's brock lesnar to win and he'll probably he'll probably do what becky lynch did those years ago and just kick the ass of whoever shows up as number 30 showing my hint of uh one of the numbers i'm going to pick for the rumble game to just come in and win all so, right, yeah, Brock Lesnar for the win. All right, Brian, your pick up next. Who do you got for the men's Royal Rumble? Completely, honestly, Skeletoric just took the words out of my mouth. Um, just the, the, Brock Lesnar is going to take someone out. I'm not going to say it's number 30, but he's, he's, he's going to do that. R- r- I think it was what, like the early two thousands, where they they didn't even show the beatdown happen. They just showed the backstage area, and and uh, the aftermath. Yeah, this dude just laid out on the floor, and and then you just hear Stone Cold yelling at people in the back, and then just like play my music and <laughs> whatever. And and then the next thing you hear is the glass break. It's gonna be that. It's it's gonna be that, and then Brock Lesnar's gonna destroy. Like gonna, it, it, <laughs> number thirty, number thirty was going to be Veer, and Brock Lesnar destroys him, so we don't ever get to see Veer ever again. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, but but, the, but let's face it, the only other option, it, 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 I I don't know any other good options. At, at this point, because it's like 
you could do Big E, but who's he going to face? <laughs> that, that's where I'm at right now. About, Let me I, tell you something, brother. <laughs> I think I think Big E and Kofi are going for the tag titles at, at Mania. That's what I think is happening. I think Big E is winning the chamber. Let me tell you something, brother. The Rock is not going to be in the Royal Rumble either. <laughs> You're the worst person. <laughs> that was even – I didn't believe He's any of that. The, I, the Lacey the Evans thing, pick. I partially believed. This let one is Brian, just out Brian the window. Pick. He did. He picked Brock Lesnar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and for this – I. I'll be honest, I'm baffled too. And I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar to, for this one just because I'm a coward. I want points. Charlie, it's your pick last. <laughs> Take us home. Who do you got? Uh, Brock Lesnar's winning the title and the Rumble. Good job. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm covering my bases here. Okay. Brock we is going to do something. You think that we forgot your, your, your uh, WWE title prediction. We did not. <laughs> I'm spreading my chips around around the roulette board right here. I'm going to join in being a coward and go with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, oh, cowardice. Coward too. Okay. <laughs> wow. We are you cowards. Guys, you guys making too much sense and bringing too much logic into it and us thinking wow those guys have great thoughts let's steal them charlie the last time you actually followed me with a great thought you lost the championship to brian when you <laughs> changed your pick to uh, from to from Char charlotte to alexa bliss i here know it comes again. Here, it comes again. <laughs> here it comes again yeah exactly but <laughs> hey actually this time it actually does make sense and you actually could could be right as well you you and jeff <laughs> yeah. could be right as well with the Silly decisions. Oh, yeah. Brock Lesnar is winning the WWE Championship and he's winning the Royal Rumble. <laughs> sure. Why not? Because Brock, Brock. You know, at this point. Because Bork Laser eats everyone. I swear he to God, if Brock Lesnar wins the Rumble, I'm going to burn Titan Towers to the fucking ground. I swear. If, w, think, if, if he wins the title match and wins the Royal Rumble, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh, you'll see me leave and go right to Titan Towers if that shit happens. Forget going, it. I will leave. He's going to rock, he's going to WrestleMania in his cowboy hat. And then I'm going to bed at eight o'clock because I'm not watching that shit. Look at my trucker hat. Oh, God. oh boy. Well, yes, those are at long last, those are our predictions for the Royal Rumble matches, event, everything this year. Now is where we're pitching it over to you until Tar got something more to say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, do we want to actually put in our Royal Rumble numbers? No, I'm not ready for that kind of pressure yet. <laughs> nah, I'm good. No, that's like, what I ever do. That's what I show. normally do. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. That's a great segue, fool. We in if you look in the video description here, the predictions for our Royal Rumble game are live are. right now. There is the link down there. Yes, there. See, look, look, there it is. Yes, it's oh, in the it description. Is. It's in the description of this very video. Click the link, put in your predictions if you haven't already. Join the fun and watch along with us. It's going to be a great time. And then once you do, you can check us out all over our socials. Check us out on our YouTube comments, Facebook posts, and our personal favorites, the Twitter machines, starting with at scholars ow for all the latest episode uploads every single week and you can also check us on our personal twitter accounts fool where can they reach you you can reach me with the realization that Omos might be the one who actually has the most eliminations of this year's rumble at the avatar and brian where can they reach you you can reach me knowing that almost will have the most eliminations in this in this year's Royal Rumble. Praying to win the Royal Rumble game, even though he knows deep down back in the back of his mind that he will not at Atomic Bean Pole. <laughs> I'm rooting. I, hey, I'm rooting. I'm rooting for you, Brian. Join me up here in the undisputed Scholar Mountain. Charlie, where can I reach you? You could reach me hating that almost is going to have the most Royal Rumble nations 
at Charlie and and Jaybird, where can they reach you? You can reach me at hating Brock Lesnar because that's the worst thing they can do to have him win the Rumble at Hero Huey 316. Hey, and you can catch al- me almost winning the Royal Rumble. I think I that'll la- be worse. I would laugh if that happened. I would laugh. That would be my Peter Griffin done walking out of the movie theater <laughs> moment. It almost actually wins the damn thing. And you no, can reach that's... me. And you can catch me ignoring all of this at I'm Robbie Rage. <laughs> Join us for all the fun and trash talk. Put in your predictions at the link below. Let us know what you think because we are. You already know what we think because you know who we are. We are the scholars of wrestling, and you have just been schooled. You're welcome. You're welcome. See you all at Rumble time. Jake.